Welcome back, everyone. I'm Tanigami Tavris, and we're going to be playing Atmosphere. Um, some of our D&D group couldn't make it, so tonight we are doing something different. As you can see, we've got our board game set, our board set up here. You can see below us there is this uh, turn the volume up and the lights down. That is the video that has to play. This game originally came out with an actual cassette. And the fun part is, is they, in the 30th anniversary, they're trying to recreate it as much as possible. So they give us this little box that looks like a cassette. Oops. So much so that, like, when you open it, it even has... Oh, wow. Oh, the, the glories of VHS. Gatekeeper Home Movie number 667, Birthday Shindig 1991, and Khufu's Wedding number 3. Ah, uh, there's no yeah. Oh, VHS. I miss you so. So, um, if we don't do, you know, this game is also hard set to a timer. So if we are not paying attention to chat, the reason why is this game is very sort of fast paced. Once it gets started, um, we won't be able to answer a lot of questions. I can tell you that now because I've played the original back. In the 90s i didn't play it in the 80s when it first came out and um i played one of the second edition like originally it came out where there was one for like when smartphones first came out so like an iphone one or an iphone two time frame uh they made a game then uh i played both of those and I kickstarted this one, so we do have some special stuff, but uh, here we go. The rules. The object of the game. Atmosphere is a board game controlled by a video. Once you press play to start the video, the game begins. It is a race against time and against the game's host, the gatekeeper. Once you press play, you cannot pause or rewind. The gatekeeper considers it cheating and wins the game by default. They actually set it up, if you were playing it directly from their website, you can download the video. But if you play it from their website, if you pause it, it automatically restarts the video. Oh, wow. A.K.A. it you does... Lost it. You better restart. <laughs> yeah. Um, it then says the video can be streamed or downloaded from the website. We're doing it. We are streaming it. The aim of the game is to collect all six of your character's keys... And then race to the center of the board, the Nightmare Square. Uh, you must land on the Nightmare Square by an exact roll, wait your turn, and then attempt to roll a six. When you roll a six, you take the top Nightmare card. If it's not your greatest fear, you press the stop button on the video and win. <laughs> if the video reaches the 60-minute marker, the gatekeeper wins. So now we're going to go through setup. Players should be seated in a semicircle facing the screen. Well, we're sort of doing that. We sort, shuffle, and place the time, fate, and chance cards on the board, which we did before start and stream. Um, sort and shuffle and place the six sets of keys off to one side on the board. The six black keys in one pile, blah, 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 blah. It, yeah. Um, place the coin on the board. Players will be required to toss the coin at various stages during the game. Um, each player should take a nightmare card, and on the blank side, so this is where the fun part comes, we're going to take this dry erase pen and write our greatest fear. In examples, spiders, snakes, heights, commitment, etc. Uh, do not reveal your fear to the other players. You collect and shuffle, not too vigorously, as we don't want to wipe those fears off, and place the cards on the center square face down. The nightmare cards can be erased and used over again. Um, so. Hi, guys. Time to get intimate. Yep. Um, I'll let you go. What start. is that, sorry. Uh... You can tell the big letters I yeah, cannot read it. Things like that. Okay. Yeah. I'm blue, black, colorblind, so. Yeah, yeah. That would work. Um. So, 
while Paige is doing that, we're going to start with Brian. Pick who you're going to be. Uh, and then grab the corresponding one. So find where your character is. Supposed to start. Oh, and here's draw a number. So the numbers are one through six, and then the since I have the Kickstarter version, we're using the custom. Uh, well, that actually slides into your character's little base. Brian is number six. It's Helen. Yeah. Oh no, they're very tiny in there. Oh yeah, they're all in the corner. Uh, yeah, I was about to say there's some. We got number one. And then give me Baron Samedi. Wait. Yep. And I am number. So, uh, we found our character's gravestones and put us on the gravestone. So, since I've got the Kickstarter version, we have custom miniatures like this. Instead of the original 1980s version came with something like so. And it does say the name on it. It's hard to read. Which one did you have? Uh, cool. He's got Kufu. Um, Jazz, Ubaldi. I want to say we, it, this is similar. Oh, no, no, no. Last time I played, I was this guy. Give it on. Uh, I got to write my, these can go off to the. Oh, cool. I get to be a creepy baby. I was going to go with Brown. I did too, so except that like, I saw the rattle on the back and the baby doll there. So, so I saw like, grandma and I'm like, cool, grandma, and who's your mommy? And the Baron from Princess Run. I wish I could remember his name. Dr. Facilier? Yeah. Facilier? Facilier. Gotcha. Okay. Spell the Facilier. It's French. It's Mars Stone Exist. Um. Yeah, it's on our morning playlist when they drop the kids off. Are you ready? Okay, okay. so we got our nightmares, we got our characters. We've got our characters on their gravestones. The gravestone, and you should watch uh, this becomes your <coughs> gravestone, and you should watch it throughout the game. For if an opponent lands on your gravestone, you may have fake cards or keys which can be used against the player. Speaking of, now's the time. So we're going to have keys. There's white. You don't mind shuffling my key. Shuffling his key. So this game can play up to six players. For those that are wondering. Um, it is not bad to play with six. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't take long because you still have an hour. Yep, you only have an hour. The only difference is, is you get you you typically get screwed over a little bit more if there's six. Okay, so make them to where they're reachable, but they're not. Um, you won't get them confused with what's in front of you later because when you get a key, it becomes your something that you can use later you gotta have a... so the keys each character has six keys each key gives you a specific power and the more keys you collect the more powerful you become for example if you collect a key which releases you from the black hole you can use it over and over again without returning it unlike some fake cards which can only be used once 
Uh, keys are awarded by the gatekeeper and can only they can also be won off the board. For example, if you are number six and you land on a gravestone marked "Take a Key," if you are six, you can collect a key. So the black hole means you're not playing. Yeah, there are it's this one. Yep, that one. Um, I think there's is there a third? Is there a third? Let's see this one and that one. Okay. So occasionally it'll tell you to go to the closest black hole. We are constantly going in a clockwise manner. So the closest one is not behind you, it's always in front of you. Um chan uh chance. Keys can also be won from chance cards. If you are lucky, you can collect both halves of a key. If they match, return both cards to the bottom of the pack and take a key. There are other chances to win a key. For example, you may get a card which reads, if you are Helen and your number is six, toss the coin. If you're Helen, but your number is three, this card is useless and should be returned to the back of the pack. Awesome. So when it says that there are two halves of a key, it legit means there are there's a top and a bottom. Um, fate. Fate cards provide you with power or protection from your opponents. Most fate cards will require you to toss the coin if an opponent lands on your gravestone. You should wait for your turn to come around before tossing the coin. Toss the coin before you roll the die and move your playing piece. See how this works? We are legit, through the whole game, we have one die, one coin, and we're going to constantly be passing that die around. There are going to be times, and I'm going to let you know now, that somebody is going to be holding that die ransom. Oh, fine. So, I, I'm standing one roll. I'll let you have the dice if you give me. No, it's not even that. You can't do that. There's no bargaining like that. Because technically, we're all against the gatekeeper. Right. So, we... I. I want to fuck you from beating the gatekeeper, but I don't want the gatekeeper to win. Right. Uh, so saying if they land on your grave, grave or if they pass it? If they land on okay. it. So if I legit land on your grave and you notice it, yeah. before my next turn, on your turn, you have to say, hey, I have this card, blah, blah, blah. If you don't ever notice that I've landed on your grave, then trust me, there are tons of times that you're going to ignore it. Because... I'm going to forget that my gravestone exists. Um, so yeah. Time! Once the game begins, a counter will appear on the screen and begin ticking away the minutes and seconds. The timer will run from 0, zero to 60. The time cards relate to that time on the screen. Only return a time card to the back of the pack if the time shown has expired. If not, wait for the time to appear on the screen and then activate it immediately, even if it's not your turn. So, like, as an example, they have at 5.30, receive a free turn. So when at 5.30 you throw the card down, you snatch, snatch the dice from whoever the fuck has it. You see where I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about? And it, it, but here's the other kicker. There are times that the gatekeeper comes up and says, whoever's turn it is now, you, a turn. you lose a turn. So, like, if you snatch oh, it, on you. it's my turn anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, the black hole. There are two black hole spaces on the board. If you land on a black hole, or if you are banished to the black hole by the gatekeeper, you cannot play the game or roll the die until you are released. Unless you are specifically called upon the gatekeeper, a.g. he calls on the youngest, the oldest, the chosen one, whatever, you can be released from the black hole by the gatekeeper, a key, a fate card, or by a player landing on the appropriate space on the board. And by God, you will hate the black hole with a passion. And with three people playing, there are times that it will just be one two of us, us, yeah, two of us are in the black hole, and one of us is just rolling the die, and you're going, fucking fuck, 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 please. <laughs> That's going to be me. Um, 
Each player starts the game from his or her gravestone and moves in a clockwise direction around the outer circle of the stones. Each gravestone or part of a stone is counted as a square, even unmarked ones. Multiple players may occupy a stone. If you land on a stone marked time, fate, or chance, take a card from the top of the pack. If you land on one of the black holes, you cannot play until released. So you can fall into a black hole on your own. Mm -hmm. The aim of the game is to collect all six of your keys. Only when you have all six keys can you leave the outside trail of stones and begin to make your way to the Nightmare Square in the center of the board via one of the four paths leading to the middle. To land on Nightmare, you must roll an exact number. If you are three stones away, you must roll a three or less to move. If you are on the path leading to the middle of the board and lose one of your six keys, you must return to your gravestone and attempt to win the key back. When you have landed on the Nightmare Square, you must wait your turn again and try to roll a six. Once you have rolled a six, take the top Nightmare card from the pack. If it is not your greatest fear, immediately stop and win the game. However, if it is your fear, you are out of the game. If you share the same fear as another person, they are also out of the game. Mine's usually pretty unique, so. <laughs> Remember, atmosphere is a race against not only your opponent, but the gatekeeper, and if the timer reaches 60 minutes, he has won the game. The gatekeeper. He hosts the game. If he calls your number or your color or catches you just about to have a turn, you must answer, yes, my gatekeeper. And then listen carefully to the task he sets to you. If you fail to answer him in time, he can become extremely angry, so always answer his questions immediately. The gatekeeper will also call for the youngest player, young one, and the oldest player, old one. If he wants to know your middle name and you don't have one, use your surname. If he demands that you roll a six before you can play a game, <coughs> you must wait your turn to come around before rolling the die. Players can only move around the board when the gatekeeper is not on the screen. When the gatekeeper appears, everybody must stop and listen carefully to what he says because if you miss something, you cannot pause or rewind the video. Now turn the lights down, turn the volume up, and press play. So we're going to make sure we do have volume real quick. Um, and I do know that you guys have to go off of our TV volume, so I'm going to make it a little bit louder. It's supposed to be loud anyways, because it's supposed to, quote, turn the volume up. And there's a reason there are jump scares. Oh, cool. <laughs> I really wish the other strips were quieter in here. Um, speaking of that, we can do that. If the RGB strips are not bright enough, the whole point and just have that as well. I think it's really hard to read the board thing. I can barely read the board as is. Yeah. Let's see what the, uh, what this looks like. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I can read the board better. And we we are visible on screen. This is uh wow. It's it's easy. Like to I read still the can't board. read the black hole now, but I know what it is. So. Um. Actually, is that you beeping? No, that was the beep was the air conditioner. Okay. Um. Where did it go? I was thinking about, I've got a light that I can put on the board specifically oh, yeah. uh, to help us. Or do you guys want to do it like this? I mean... Uh, is that enough? I, I don't think that'll put enough light to... Uh, I don't want to bring an, out an actual lamp or something. Yeah. Let's uh, Let's go ahead and start. We'll just do it like this. If anything, I can run more. Yeah, I was about to say, if anything, you, you, we, can, uh, we can always... Actually, let's see if we can do it that way. Make it where we can still read. Wow, uh, that, that ruins a lot of the atmosphere. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that. 
you need to read anything, uh, pull Do you have one of the blood trap three candles back there? Uh, yeah, I do. I've got a couple of them somewhere. They're not bright. But it might, oh, okay. You know what we can do? I really don't want to do it, but we can do it. Jesus. Hey! <laughs> Look, we're already going to have a jump scare. We don't need you adding to it. You got a lighter? I knew there was one somewhere nearby. <laughs> oh, that definitely like that definitely sets a mood. If we need it brighter, I can brighten it. There's a. Uh... Are we gonna need to be able to see past that? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, uh, us reading. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Well then. Here goes. Uh, who is okay? Youngest. I think I'm the oldest. Yep, yeah, I'm right in the middle. Middle child. Okay. Well, here goes. Oh wow! It's coming from this one. You want to play the game? Good. The cage keeper! Full of this game. Speak, you will stop, and you will listen. Mm. See, you have all been stained with a color and marked by number. By calling your number or your color, you must answer. Yes, my gatekeeper. Say yes, my gatekeeper, but I call your number or color, you will be punished. I'd like to punish one of you now. You? The one who holds the lowest number. Yes, yes you are. I'm you, my God. Yes, my gatekeeper. Whoa. We just hit buffer. Interesting. Norman Reedus killed this role. Oh. Okay, so we might have to actually download this and uh Yeah, the weather might cause some issues. Do I say yes, my gatekeeping time? Move your mark to the club. Okay. I did it in time, right? Not first. Yes. <laughs> you did get interrupted once. Yes. Yes, my, yes, my gatekeeper. 
Okay. We're gonna have to see if we can download this. Oh, let's see here. Oh, the, I went ahead and put the extra marker piece for Kufu black hole so we know where it is on this side. So, I'm gonna have to like ask you to stop. What? It's interesting that it's going to that TV instead of this one. Oh, I know. Okay, what is going on? Has it frozen the screen? Because we paused it? I think Chrome just crashed. It's thinking. Circle! Thinking, thinking. Uh, now it's asking me if you want to download. Say, say that is a web page. Yep. Nope. We're not doing that. Oh, the forty's only at a two forty. That's that matters. Yeah. Well. Okay, we're gonna attempt it. Hopefully, it doesn't buffer again. Go 
Two. One. Um, the viewer one, take a key. Three checks. One. How does landing on somebody's gravestone work again? You don't have anything to, unless you have a fake card that okay. does something. Take the key if you're going to cheat. Who said that you text? Who's about to roll the dice? Me, gatekeeper. Come to me! If you fail to answer yes, my gatekeeper in time, you must roll a six before you can play again. Oh. Have fun. Oh, yes. you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't think I get to move it. No. Yeah, it's oh. one of the other. Oh no! That's great, or that's the black hole. Yep. And what is a poltergeist's gravestone? Huh? Uh, poltergeist? I release you from the black hole. Woo! Six chance. Uh, uh, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no problem with cost. Hmm. Oh, wait. Are you talking about? It says if you land on the poltergeist's gravestone. Oh, the poltergeist is uh, Helen. Okay. Um, yeah. Is anybody playing and the show shut the I don't think so. Wait, let's go. Four. Two. Four. Five. Four. Of your own gravestones marked with an axe. Receive that free turn. No. That's what the X's are for. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. That's Helen. Uh, 
Um, dead heads. Uh, you are banished to the black hole. You cannot harm me if I land under. Uh... <laughs> so I guess we just turn them both in. Yeah. Now switch. Next. Put me over. Okay. <laughs> so smart, Charles. Take the dice and roll it. You can roll your number. You can take a key. Nobody. Nobody. One, two, three. Nobody's in a black hole. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Six. Okay. Three. And I landed on my own gravestone. Nice. So, what do I do if I get this? It's, oh, you just hold on until you get the other. <coughs> That's the. There's no means in it. Ten years. Five. And I am not number two. Eight. I didn't know so for you in the black hole. What? Let us all play the first game together. Yes, my I dear, want each can. of you to take a turn to roll the dice. What are you waiting for, huh? Yes, my gatekeeper. Yes, my gatekeeper. Go ahead! Don't waste my time for your precious little of it. Turns up. And if you haven't yet had a turn, you can blame it on the others, not me. Now, who wrote the highest number? What the man? Me, my gatekeeper. Me, my gatekeeper. So, if you answered in time, you may take a key, but if you failed, you have lost a precious prize. That's for the one who rolled the lowest number. Yes, my gatekeeper. That's me. <laughs> it's a turn. No, no, no. It's, it, did it say answer me and miss a turn? Wait. Answer me, you miss a turn. Oh. So... This is your turn missed. One. Uh, if you were one, I am not. Hey, buddy. Very good, Pokey. And black hole. My gravestone. I'm sorry. Who's turn is next? Answer me! It's my my gatekeeper. Give me your real name. Boomer. Huh? Huh? Must have missed your middle name. That is a stupid name, isn't it, you maggot? <laughs> What's up? Answer me. Yes, my gatekeeper? I think it is. So do all the others. Now, pick up the die and roll. Did 
Jerome. Forward, my gatekeeper. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. And you have rolled one of the first six. What letter would that be? D, my gatekeeper. Huh? If that letter is in your middle name, you will miss the number of turns you have rolled. If it is not, take a fate card. It is? Yeah. Oh. Sweet. Just be for a while. Cool. <laughs> uh, You're in the black hole. One, two, three. Four. I'm in the black hole. He and I are both in the black hole. Oh! <laughs> Take a key if you are four. I am four. I, can get a key. I release you from the black hole. Sweet. Six. I didn't use my. You so it's marked with an X. Do not play again until I return. Okay. Good. Give me all your. What? Give me your time cards. No. It was my like. It was my duty. All of you well, of will now is. take a turn to roll the dice, and the one who rolls the highest is the chosen one. Yes, my God. Remember. Three. When I call for the chosen one, it will answer. It will pay dearly. Uh, let's see. Let's... Where are we now? Uh, take the chosen one's time cards and give it. Uh, give them a message for me. All will be revealed in time. <laughs> Of course. I've already your time cards. So yeah. It was my turn anyway. Because I, I scared the shit out of you with my first time card. Yeah, welcome to uh, <laughs> some of the time cards. I didn't read what the ones that were already passed on yours. Yeah. They were significant. Yo! The one who's turning it is next on some hair! That's my gatekeeper. Pick up the dice. Now! Roll! What number did you roll? Two, my gatekeeper. Yeah. <laughs> roll it again. Yes, my gatekeeper. What number did you roll this time? Three, my gatekeeper. No. Roll it again. Yes, my gatekeeper. Three times lucky. Give me the number. Five, my gatekeeper. Now, add all three numbers you rolled together. Ten, my gatekeeper. If the total is more than twelve, receive a key. If not, better luck next time. <laughs> and you're back. Message what? from the gatekeeper. From mm -hmm. zero zero on, if I'm approaching their gravestone, they are banished if they chuckle. Mm. 
and ion number six, so I get the E. Your turn. Uh, oh, uh, if Helen lands on your gravestone, toss the coin. Yeah, nothing. Cool. The one if it's next. Yes, my good Tell me, who would you like to see banished? Which one of your opponents? Well, I'd have to be in the moment. Get it done. That planet banished to the black hole. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, son of a bitch. Now we wait. <laughs> yep. So, who are you? I'm Baron Samedi. Gotcha. So, Baron, Helen. Forgot to do that. I, I had to toss three times for you being on my grave. Oh. Uh,. You have any fake cards? Uh, yes. It's dead that it acts, don't you bear? It's technically mine. You're going you to wish it was it. Rob the dice. Yes, my gatekeeper. What number did you roll? Two, my gatekeeper. That is the number of turns you are going to miss, you maggot. I miss all of them until I'm released, gatekeeper. Um, you miss two after you release. Son of a bitch. That's the shitty part, is it does, this all stacks. I don't think we're going to win. I, I, I've, I've only seen this happen a few times. Okay, so, I have a fake card that Cannot happen since nobody's playing and. Oh, uh, just go ahead and throw it in there. Okay. No, I drew a whole bunch of IU. Sweet. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm not the mummy, so I can't do anything. I've got one where I can take all of my own chance cards. <laughs> oh, if it's for you. Yeah, you. The one who's standing this next on to me. It's my gatekeeper. You're banished. Already banished. <laughs> He's already banished. She can't be banished. He's fine. Well, that's the only thing that doesn't double up. But yeah, um, if you've got something that's related to your character, go ahead and throw it back in the discard. Well, should I keep it just in case I get uh, e faded, or do you steal all the fake cards? No, because it's specifically something like. If you're, uh, if so and so does this, right? If cuckoo lands on, yeah. So you can't. Okay. Uh, it was, if cuckoo lands on my gravestone, toss a coin, take all the mummy's chance cards and heads, return card back of that. Yeah. So basically, you're you're gonna take your own chance cards. Yeah. You see where that like it's a, it's a it's a pointless one. Stop! Anyway. I release those of you banished to the black hole. So that's one. And I summon the chosen one. Yes, my gatekeeper. Who is the chosen one? Me, my gatekeeper. Me. I love the fact that we always answer before he asks. You. Take a key. And leave your seat and come sit before me. I have something very special to show you. It is just for you. It is not for the others. Look away. Come closer. <laughs> I'll 
set the man down to your back. That's my baby first. You asked me to. <laughs> it's like boot camp. Mm -hmm. That one's dead. Sweet. Let's see. You again. Finally! You were one. Nope. No, oh, no stage with the colors. Purple, red, or blue. I'm the pair. That's my, my gatekeeper. gatekeeper. Roll the dice. If you roll your number, you can take yeah. a key. Uh, chance. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Take the key if you're too. And... Cool, I get a free turn. Since I landed on her gravestone. <laughs> Don't stain with the colors black, white, and gray of the mirror. Yes, my gatekeeper. Roll the dice. If you can roll your number. You can take a key. Oh, good boy. Oh, jeez. The thunder and things scaring you? Is that what's going on? Son of a bitch! Dash? Yep. Do you? Do you bro? Who stand at the text? That's a man. Yes, my gatekeeper. You must roll a six. To play again. Hey! And since I'm banished, none of the oh, wait. none of my stuff can get affected, right? What do you mean? Like, I've got something if you land on my gravestone. But I haven't landed on your yeah, gravestone. It's no, no, no. It still, it still works. Still, okay. so for you. But, Gravestones marked with time. You know what I'm Yeah. Oh, sweet. Give all this. Hey, I got another key. This one's time. Sorry. of you on gravestones marked with an X will now receive two free turns. Nice. Fake. Fake card, I get Please. a free turn. If uh, I landed on Baron's. Yeah, but before you get your turn, I have. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Not my gatekeeper. I bet you to like a key. 
Yes, well, you, you... So that you cannot roll your number to receive one. Come on. Roll the dice. Get a key. What number did you roll? Four, my gatekeeper. Is that your number, little maggot? Yes, my gatekeeper. Oh. It's your number. I'm going to give you a key. If it's not, um okay. now i can use my thing correct yes <laughs> what i tell you man i'm gonna get stuck in the black hole You would have liked that one. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, the one for me, but it was right in the Ten, it's next. Mine would be My turn. It's your turn, all right. You're playing me. Roll the dice. What number did you roll? One, my gatekeeper. This is my number. It is five. If you rolled my number, you cannot play again until I return. Okay, you rolled a six. Yeah, I rolled a six before. That's Six. Uh, what is this man? You get a key. Cool. Do I just toss these aside and then go in the discard? And on my own. <laughs> I freeze. What? Writings on the wall, little maggot. Each of you will now take a turn to roll the dice and be rewarded. Oh. Accordingly. Yes, my gatekeeper. Yes, my, yes, my gatekeeper. Six. Five. Three. Uh, I get a free turn. You get a fake card. I miss my turn. You miss a turn. I get a free turn. Yay. Two. Let's do time. Um, and then it's you just win. Yep. So it's five. Minutes. You miss a turn. Put down. You're the. Damn it! I'm not one. I release you from the black hole. Is this turn? Uh, my turn. Release. And nope. I want to play with the old one now. Yes, my gatekeeper. Find out who is the oldest. The friend one. Yes, my the one you all pity. Yes, my gatekeeper. Who is the old one? Answer me or be banished. Yes, my gatekeeper. I want to ask a question. Yeah, yeah, go for it. You will not lie. If you lie, and one amongst you knows the truth, you will reveal all, and the old one will die. 
now, old one. How old are you? Forty-one, thank you. Old. You smell much older. Everybody must pity you. Oh, yeah. No, my gig. They want to. They'll hate you like I do. <laughs> now, old maggot. Take the dice, but do not roll until I command you. I want you to roll your exact age. Have as many turns as you wish, but if the total you roll is higher than your age, you will start again. Oh, no. Only when the old maggot has rolled its old age will my game continue. Roll the die. We'll get as many turns. In other words, you guys don't get a turn until I roll my age. Four, five, eight, thirteen, uh, fourteen, four, six, sixteen, twenty-two, twenty-five, so seven, thirty, thirty, one, thirty-seven. 38, 39, again, 6, 10, 13, 16, uh, 21, 21, 26, Up to me, old yes, my gatekeeper. Did you manage to roll your old age? No, my gatekeeper. If you succeeded, you can take a key. Hopefully you failed miserably. Well, I did. If you failed, you are banished to the black hole where you will grow older still. I think it's Brian's turn. You will now take a turn to roll the die. Do it now. Yes, my gatekeeper. Those of you who roll their numbers and take a key. If you roll your number, take a key. Oh. Uh, Brian, here you go. In the hole. In the hole. No. You're on a. Oh, I landed in the. Nope. Oh. In the hole. I'm in the hole. Chance. I'm in the hole. Down here. In the hole. Release those banished to the black hole. Thank fucking God.
the most number of my keys. You are a concern to me. Finish you to the black hole. <laughs> you ask why? Because I can. And you're dead. Because I'm the game. You're dead! And this is my game! And your nightmare! You're dead! <laughs> You're dead! Everybody's released! Hey! I have been a to you all. I have been a to you all. Have you? Yeah. On occasion. On occasion. I can also be very bad. Oh, yeah? I haven't had any. Oh, I choose to be good. Each of you will now take a turn to roll the dice. And if you roll your number, you can take a key. As for the little maggots in the black hole, you grow weak, while the others grow stronger. This is a weird one. <laughs> oh, you're fine. I'm not just going to run as he popped up. I just finished moving. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Go to the black hole. Oh. But I got the jump scare. You are banished to the black hole so you can learn that silence is a virtue. Return to the black. Stop. <laughs> it doesn't do anything since I'm in the black hole, but. Summon you. Yes, my gatekeeper. The highest number. Answer me, you maggot. Yes, my gatekeeper. You have been chosen for the test of the chimes. Listen for the chimes. For when my clock begins to chime, you will take the dice and roll it twelve times. If you roll your times you will be rewarded one no there's no time i got my first i thought that was the chimes yes no oh no when you hear the chimes so i thought yeah, that was the chimes so his turn was that it then no you'll it, it'll be an actual life Okay. Like a clock show. Um, I just got my key. I got that thing. So it's... That was yours. Okay. It does sound like chimes. I know. I'm sure it's going to be like a bing. Stop! Okay. <laughs> Those of you on gravestones marked 
baked. Yours is to miss a turn. And those of you on gravestones marked time, it is time for you to receive a free one. We're getting close to the end. Mm -hmm. Is anybody wasting away in the black hole? Yes, my gatekeeper. Open your chance. The thoughts of the coin. James, and you are free. Right to yours and free <laughs> If the maggot with the highest mark managed to roll its number three times? Yes, my gatekeeper. Your failure is released. All those in the black hole. But if you succeeded, receive a key. Finally. Want to play with the young one? Yes, my what gatekeeper. Are you, little one? Twenty-six, my gatekeeper. Oh, is it it past your bedtime, little one? No, my gatekeeper. The youngest one is the weakest. Is it Ray? Is it Meat? Meet me on the other side, the little one. Oh. Pick up the dice. Yes, my gatekeeper. You must roll your exact age before I return. As many turns as you wish. Think you can win? I think not. I'll be back with your punishment a real soon. Ten. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty-six. So, getting set to go. Uh, I'm going in the head black head. hole. The key releases me from the black hole. Thanks. I'll find a better battery. Uh, Little one. Yes, my gatekeeper. Send me. If you succeeded, you can have a key. Thank you, my gatekeeper. But if you failed, bye bye, little one. Enjoy your fall down into the black hole. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> 
You're there. Uh, I landed on that gravestone. I get to which doesn't do much good. Right? Hey, get a key. Breathe. I will you from the black hole. One on one. One on Yes, my gatekeeper. Yeah, okay. Now take a turn to roll the dice. If you can roll your number, you will receive a key. Thank you, my gatekeeper. So close. I oh, know I need one more to. to... Same. No, if I would have rolled a four there, I would have been able to start going up the center. You need one more key. Yeah. Yes, my gatekeeper. Look at me, you maggot. Yes, my gatekeeper. Yes. Look at me. Yes, my gatekeeper. Do not stand away from me. What do you want? You stand down deep into my eyes and keep looking at me until I fade away. Don't blink, maggot. If you blink just once, you've shown me your way to that. I'll take a key from you. Don't blink, little maggot. I'm watching you. I say you. Pick a boo. Don't blink, you little maggot. You heard about the Peekaboo Foundation <laughs> in the hospital, right? Yeah, they added an extra wing in the ICU. What? <laughs> I think I'm it. No, we can't. That's a lot hard. Like it's a lot harder to stare at him. Uh, the last. Oh, one... this is horrible with contact. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Uh, and and what's even worse is because it's dark. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the whole point. It when we played this the last time, we didn't dim the lights, and it was a lot easier to stare at him because you don't have the brightness like just popping your eye. And the color fluctuations. Yeah. Jesus. That's and impossible to say that long. I don't know. Jesus. And see, I was one away from us, like, being able to go up the middle. I've got one more. Well, now I'm going to have two because he says he's going to take away a key, and I can't remember how this works. Does it pause the time? No, no, the time's still going. We were. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's relevant. Uh, I believe it's your turn. Oh! Okay. Uh, he had just rolled. Huh. 
Who's setting the kick now? Answer me! Me, my gatekeeper. Aren't you? Answer me! Tastes great! And if they're total, you're all, it's an even number. Then it's time to get even with you. Like your friends. It's odd. Yeah. I roll 19 total. We'll let it see the key. I get all six. Sweet. Thank you, my gatekeeper. Thanks for your turn. Go, 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 go. Take a turn to roll the dice and be rewarded or punished according to what is written. Six, four. Um, banished. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm released from the black hole. No, 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 it's still, still sitting in the air, but I'm. Um, you miss a turn, you miss a turn, my turn. Um, here. Uh, you oh. I release you from the black That's hole. It. And we are about to play a new game. We can't really call the Havoc. Uh, yeah, he plays Havoc and I miss two turns. Stop! Number one, answer! I don't hear from the world before you play again. What's that? Something about the front of the game. I'm going to miss. Because I get out. It's been true. Answer! Do you want to roll a two before you play again? Oh, you have to roll. Ah. Second time I miss. Number three! Answer! I demand you roll a three before you play again. Right. Answer. Yes, my gatekeeper. I do my two on a four before you play again. So when I roll, can I go up the line now? Yes. Oh, yeah, Number five. Answer. I do my two roll a five before you play again. Number six. Answer. Yes, my gatekeeper. I demand you roll at six before you play again. So I've got to roll it twice. Who stand at the next? Answer me. Me, my gatekeeper. Let's see if I pray to roll twice. Okay, there's one of mine. Oh, no, that counts for both. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I need to roll a three. Yay, it can go now. Two, three. Yes, my gate. Yes. It is. Yes, my gatekeeper. Because they call it. The balance fails. Fails. And you receive a key. I rolled my three. It lands me on nightmare. But you gotta roll a six to. Oh, yeah, yeah. It. Oh, okay. So on your next turn, you get to. I release it again. I want to play with the young one again. Yes, my gatekeeper. I want 
to play for keeps. Fancy a game? No. Toast the coin. Paper. And you lose a key. Trains? You receive one. Oh, it's your turn, so roll. Each of you will now take a chance to roll the dice. The one who rolls the highest will receive a key. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, you didn't play again until 5730. Take a chance to roll the dice. The one who rolls the highest receive a key. All right, got my keys up. It's a seven. Who's ten is it next? Answer me. Me, my gatekeeper. The cards are on the table. I'm arranging the bets, and you are going to play some poker. Take the toll card from the nightmare pack. If it's your fear, you lose all your keys. You were going to lose anyway. But if it's not, return it to the back of the pack, and you can collect all the remaining keys. Sweet. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Yeah. 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 Don't worry about that shit. One, one, one. You gotta roll a six on the next one. Three, one, roll six, five. Last minute chance, maggots. Five. Oh, yeah. I can now move again. And the one who runs the highest receives all the remaining keys. Four. I already have all my keys. Yeah, time. Two, three, six. Five. Six more. You're out. That's fine. You're out. Five. Seven. Six. Two. Three. One. Five. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this game. The music <laughs> does not help. Yeah, that ending music sucks. That was interesting. I think that's the first time anybody's actually won. If it helped, my fifty-eight thirty, I was going to banish Paige. There's a reason. I there's a reason at that point. Your the time cards. This is being mean. You're 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 fucking with somebody who could possibly win. Yeah. And it is. It becomes the whole like. That late in the game, about the only thing I like doing is the one where it is, you get a key, 
you get all your keys if you rolled the highest and it's like okay well now you've got to wait and i'm I'm gonna intentionally make you wait a minute because i'm close enough that i might win right and you still got there before i did uh hit the lights if you don't mind yeah oh like those of you watching uh both of them yeah there we go Oh, three of my chance cards were the other end of a key. Oh, uh, I, I know. I had two of them. <laughs> um, wait, ready for it? Uh, Kufu cannot harm you if you land on his thing. Yeah, that's why he stole from me. Uh, if you can't, if you land on Kufu's gravestone, receive a free turn. If Helena lands on your gravestone, toss the coin, gain all their time cards. If Helena lands on your gravestone, toss the, toss the coin, get their chance cards. If Helena lands on your gravestone. Uh, toss a coin, get the fake cards. If Khufu lands on your gravestone, toss a coin, get the fake cards. Like, I could have got everybody's fate in... And there is a fake card, or a chance card, I can't remember which one it is, but we saw it the last time I played, where uh, you can get yourself out of the black hole and then uh, pass it to the... Pl- yeah. Player. I had two of them. I had to get out of the black hole. But by the time that I would have found that, I already had my key that said, get me out of the black hole. Yeah. And that's the... I had a key that... I got to use a key for one thing, and then immediately got, no, nope, you're sent to black hole. Fuck off. Yeah. Um. Or no. No, I got my... No, my key worked on you, and you're like, yeah, it sucks to be you, and I don't have any. No. No, I think it was one of those where I was like, no, nah, you can't. I had a thing where you couldn't. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, and see, late in the game, everybody's got the key, uh, either a card or something that keeps them from getting hurt. Uh, or, you know. Uh, so what do you guys think of this game? <laughs> this is great. Um, it is better. <laughs> it, to, in my opinion, it is better with more players. Yeah. I can see that. Um, I think this game is best with a full six. Hey, Boomer and I won. You lost. Yeah. That was the chosen one, too. Chosen one to lose. Okay. Um, so that's our game of Atmosphere. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I know it's something different. <laughs> it's not what we normally play. Um... This problem uh, this will not end up on YouTube because I know for a fact that it's uh copyrighted. Uh, yeah. yeah, the 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 video is copywritten. Oh man. Um dang, nobody else is going to get to see Norman Reedus yell at us and call us maggots and scum. Uh I might be able I'm going to attempt to put it up on YouTube if it gets copy struck. Uh there there's two things that's going to happen. One, it's either going to like I get no no revenue. Revenue, which I don't. Or it gets taken down. Uh, or it gets taken down. If it gets taken down, I'll be like, oh, it's my fault. Yeah. Um, if it no revenue, I really don't care. I don't. I don't get any revenue from YouTube, anyways. Yeah. I should be. Um. But and the one time I actually got a jump scare out of somebody. Nope. Be quiet. Black hole. <laughs> and what's great is I had that one and then immediately after I had to yell stop. And it was like fifteen seconds in between. Oh no, that's and that was the whole kicker was like it was the mine was if anybody yells uh, if anybody screams at this point. Uh, tell them, and I was like, okay, so I was waiting for the, like, and I was like, I don't care if you jump scare me or not, because you go in the black hole. Because <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was jump scare on you, because I saw you reach over. Oh, no, no, it was me, it, it wasn't a jump, it was me, like, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't tell because it was the jerk off like that, so I couldn't tell if it was excitement to grab the card, or yeah, yeah. an actual jump. No, 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 it was, it was, uh, it was definitely a jump for me. It, it was definitely one of those for me, I was like, Yes! Card, haha, <laughs> you're screwed. I think in my previous, just like IRL history, my uh, buddy, we were at his place, we were helping him do house cleaning and stuff like that. 
one of the fuses or some kind of breaker or something on his stove blew, and it sounded like a shotgun went off in the apartment. Oh, fun. He and I are standing right next to the stove, and our other friend is on the other side of the room. It blows right next to us. We can see her jump out of her skin, and he and I are just like, you got any vinegar for this so I can like scrub this out easier? Didn't phase us whatsoever. So, since I kickstarted this, if we got some special stuff, um, we got this dice with the uh, gatekeeper's visage in it. Uh, we got a custom gold coin versus the uh, standard coin. Um, and then, of course, the, the miniatures. There's also a second version of playing this game, which is uh, something... Is that what those other cards are for? Yep. Um, Baron Samadhi's Atmosphere 2. Uh, I've never played it. That might be something we do at some other point. Um, it's a faster game, and you will have to listen carefully to what Baron says, for you cannot pause or rewind. Um, so, yeah. You'll need the Master Game set. Um, to play Zelda <laughs> as it is a sequel to the video game Atmosphere. Oh, wow. I got lucky on all of my Force rolls. Like, hey, to get out, you have to roll this number. Immediate. Are you lucky, son of a... And then it gets around. Had it happen a couple more times. And you have to roll your age exactly. And I got that one in the first Oh, I know. See, what sucks is the one for, like, old age. Yeah. Uh, for people like me that are a little older, it takes longer to get. There. It takes longer to get there, and he does not give you a lot of time. No. And uh, one of the times I played this, I played it at a con with a gentleman who was in his sixties. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about he only got one shot at trying to get there, yeah. and he, he failed. And we were like, "That sucks." Like. So this this game is one of those I like it, but at the same time it is very much a it's niche. Yeah. And I guess it's the same video. Yeah. Every time, so like I wonder how many times you can play before you're like getting predictable with it. Well, so the the thing about the each time you play it, you're gonna have a different number. Right. Uh, you're gonna have a different character, and then. Um, you're also unless unless you're not playing by the way that you're supposed to just be dish to uh pulling. Yeah. Um so those two things are going to make it to where the game is a little bit more forgiving on the replay. Uh if you are playing with the same people over and over and over again, that's the right. same people are always gonna be the old one. The same people are always gonna be the young one. Right. So those you know are coming and they're not like and if we were playing offline uh, when it asks for your name, you're supposed to give your first, middle, and last name. And uh, I'm not going to dox myself, which is why I did not. Um, but I, I will, like, play the game because it was, if that if that letter's in your, in your middle name, then you lose a turn. I'm going to play properly, even though I'm not doxing myself. Right. Um... But, anyways, uh, thank you guys for coming and watching. Hopefully, we'll be back with more D and D next week. If not, we'll figure out a different board game to attempt. Yeah. I just wanted to get another screen. Oh yeah, you're not screen. <laughs> there you go. Too tall. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you are. We'll be back with some Overwatch play in just a few uh, in about an hour. Uh, until next time, everyone, peace out.